Welcome back to another After Effects video. This one's going to be using Illustrator Paths in After Effects. So we're going to go through the whole process from Illustrator and then go back and forth. So we're going to use a spiral. And the aim of the video is to see if we can animate the spiral being drawn. So that's what we'll do. So we'll draw out our spiral. I've got a spiral shape here. And we'll put it in the middle. And put it in the middle. And I just want to increase the uh, stroke size a little bit and make it yellow just so that we can actually see what's going on. And then we're gonna just uh, cut it out with the artboard tool and go to fit to artwork bands. Okay, so we'll save this and we'll call it a spiral. There we go. And we'll take a look at that. Yep, all looks good. So we've saved it. Now we're gonna go into After Effects and we're gonna grab it here. You see, there's only one layer, so it doesn't, but in, in theory, you could do this with like multiple images on a bigger artboard there. All right, so then we'll create a new composition with this. And there it is. So to animate it, what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to copy the path points, because right now this is just a picture of a spiral. So we actually need to copy the path points and put it on a mask on top of this. So what we can do is we can select, so we can select the spiral, press Control E, and it will load it back in if you hadn't already got it loaded. So what we need to do then, you can see we've got the points uh, selected here. So all we have to do is just copy and paste. So we can do Control C and Control V. And you'll see that it's actually pasted the points now on top. Now it's not exactly perfect. So we're gonna to go to masks, we're gonna to go to our mask and we're gonna do Control T, just put it right on top. Okay, so that is now on top. So what can we do? Well, now what we can do is we can go to the effects here and you can use this effect called the stroke. It is in generate and we put the stroke on. And let's take a look, see what happens when we vary this end point here. So I'm gonna just uh, increase the, the thickness a little bit so you can see what's going on here. And we're gonna make sure we do paint style and we're gonna do on transparent because otherwise it will appear. And then, if, and then what we can do is, if you look at the end, what happens when we do this? You'll see this is actually animating the path now. So what it means essentially is that if you wanted to, you could do something like this. You could do the stroke here, and you find the start or the end points. Uh, we'll just do end, and we'll put that at zero. And then somewhere around here at 100. So you see, that is the final result. So that's pretty cool, right? So, I mean, you could use on original image as well if you wanted to have the actual image there, but I guess the point is you don't really want that. Obviously, there's a point with a spiral. Depending on what your settings for the spiral are, you get some slightly different results. So we could do a slightly different spiral. Let's uh, try this one. So let's do a spiral. Let's do this guy, maybe a bunch more segments. Uh, and let's make the decay 95%, a radius of 200. Let's take a look at this one. Again, we'll put it in the middle. Control V. Let's try spacing 100. Now, spacing does look like it's basically changing the line a little bit. That is actually kind of cool. Spacing does look like it's actually making quite the effect. Oh, I see. So yeah, you can see the sort of effects you could potentially get here. Yeah, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of um, perhaps get a more interesting shape when you actually contrast the spacings. But yeah, I don't know. To be honest, this is the sort of thing you could really mess around with. Like, there's so many different things. And this is just a spiral. This is just like one path shape. There's a bunch of different stuff that we could um, think about doing here. Um, but that is going to do for now. So thanks for watching.